know me as Roxy. Take a ride with me down memory lane and learn how a young Salvadoreña born Raquel Elizabeth Cordova went from Hollywood dreams to living her dream. I, love it. I am a radio personality, blogger, philanthropist, motivational speaker, animal lover, TV personality and host, and more importantly, a huge lover of life. I love it. As a little girl, I remember telling Hello. everybody my that I would girl. be in entertainment one day. Every chance I got, I was dressed up in my mom's high heels and accessories. I was a little girl putting on shows at all the parties, singing and dancing. I had no shame. Even as a child, I loved the feeling of getting a crowd going, and I was aware of the energy I got in return. My childhood was happy and festive, and I believe this is why I am who I am today. Roxy growing up was a very unique human being. She did the normal things kids did, but she always took it her own way. And I just want to thank you on air in front of Roxy growing up was a handful. She was the baby. Well, she is the baby of the family, and she was always and still is super hyper, and always very creative and thinking outside of the box. I like that. My body rocks rhythm. You beat actually, my it was my brother that came up with the name Roxy. It actually was a family huddle, and my brother, out of everybody in my family, I thought my brother was the last person that was gonna come up with a name idea and a brilliant idea and a unique idea. So he was like, I got it, I got it, sis. R-A-Q for your first name, a dash and a C for the last name and that's gonna spell Roxy. And so I, my brother's like, and every time they do interviews on you, you better let them know that I gave you that name. So I gotta give him credit. I love you, Joe. I like that. In October 2005, I, Roxy, hit the airwaves of Los Angeles full speed ahead. Her personality, gosh, it's like the weather forecast. It's hard to predict. You never know when she's gonna like be an earthquake or a thunderstorm or a tornado or a, a sunny day, you know? Like, it's just amazing, but she's a high ball of energy. When all three of us get together, it's a lot of uh, shenanigans. It's a lot of laughing, it's a lot of teasing. Um, we have a lot of similarities, but we also have a lot of differences. I was trying, I, was, I don't yes. feel like I was. I was trying to get to something, dude. I was we trying to think have 20 it. minutes. So we need, you can't create no. momentum. Yeah. We have to get to the point. I know. we only have 20 minutes and you're working. And you well, when Roxy and I disagree, that. it's usually handled very loudly. You have to remember we're Salvadorian and we just don't have volume control. If I had to alter anything about my sister, and I love her to death, is her attention span. She pays attention for about two seconds, and if you haven't said what you need to say in those two seconds, like she's on to the next. So sometimes that could be frustrating, especially when we are talking business or nonprofit. We are very open. We don't have any secrets or many secrets between us. Welcome to another edition of Amiga of the Month. Amiga of the Month I'm now the president of the board in our nonprofit organization that Roxy founded, Amigas for My Soul. And she came and she brought it to the table and we thought it was amazing because it really is something that she has always stood for. Women helping women. It was an unexplainable feeling knowing that through a mic I touched the lives of thousands of people daily just by being me. Wow. I think back to when I was a little girl dreaming of the career and the life I'd like to live one day. Well, guess what? I'm living it. Now as an adult, I continue to challenge myself. I have learned so much about myself, so much about life, and now have new goals in place. More dreams to chase, and the best part is, this time, you get to come along for the ride. Fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. Keep on